The battle for the NPP parliamentary tickets in Wejagbawi has intensified as incumbent MP and Deputy Minister of Health Tina Na Ayele Mensa faces off with Coastal Development Authority CEO Jerry Ahmed Shaib, both having passed vetting. The following report has more. The Greater Accra Regional NPP concluded its vetting process a day earlier than the national deadline. In Ayawasu Central, MP and Regional Minister Henry Korte contends with former Regional Youth Organizer Moses Abo, while Okainkwe Central MP Patrick Boama is confident in securing another term without facing any contest. Vetting for Wejagbawi, Ayawasu Central, Ablekuma West, Ablekuma North, Amasaman, Trobo, and Okainkwe Central constituencies have all been done. Tinana Ayele Mensa and Jerry Ahmed Shaib are set for a heated battle for the Wager Gbawe NPP ticket. I am not scared because when you are talking of a vote in primaries, you're talking about delegates, but you don't talk about vast people who are not from the constituency. This guy is coming from Choco, and you always vast people from Choco who don't have votes in my constituency to make a point. I grow any form, my contest I hold raw. I've gone to a different sort of con uh, con Congress. I went in, even with uh, 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 NDC, uh, 2016 with Obobia. You know how strong Obobia is. I was in Patep. All the media houses, they ruled me out. But I told them, say, I grow any form. It is not about media. It is not about show. It is not about you tickling yourself. You tickling yourself and then smiling. It is about strategy. I've won twice. He has lost somewhere. He cannot come and beat me in my own backyard. I am the landlady. Yes. He is the foreigner coming in. And I will show him how landlady we do our things in Wajah Bawi. Jerry Ahmed has refuted bribery allegations made by Deputy Minister Tinana Ayele Mensah. It's totally frivolous. It's not true. No, it's totally frivolous. I mean, I, I, was, I was interrogated as if I mean, I'd come for some other matter, you know went through the process in a very fair manner so i wouldn't see why anybody would think that somebody has been paid money i mean i'm, I'm just the chief executive uh, my contender is a is a deputy minister i mean so if anything has to do with money then we should look somewhere else not mine henry Korte, mp for ayawasa central is confident in maintaining the party's tickets against moses abo my predecessor shekai sikwe handed over to me not through a contest, but he handed over to me in the presence of all the constituency executive and the general public. And since then, by the grace of God, I've managed the constituency very well. We have won and continuously increased our margin, and that we shall do by the grace of God. MPP believes in democracy. The ideologies that help to shape and form the political party called MPP thrives on democracy. And so everybody is allowed to expresses of his views, his opinion, and also get involved in an election. After all, the president, Nana Adodanko Akufuado, went through contests three times. He emerged as a flag bearer and eventually the president. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia recently went through contests. He emerged as the flag bearer of our party. And so that has been the tradition of MPP, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Moses Abo, former regional youth organizer, is optimistic about his chances against regional minister Henry Korte. People are calling me, Kokumemre East is calling me, Kokumemre West is calling me, Malamata is calling me, Aidiki is calling me, Pig Farm is calling me, Alajo is calling me, all the 12 electorate, and Almighty Sheikh Aisuki, the father of the constituency, is also saying that Moses, come and rescue Ayawasu Central. And you can attest to it. I believe. This war is between David and Goriath, and by the grace of God, David would oversee Goriath. Patrick Boama, MP for Okainkwe Central, believes his constituency work will secure another term without facing a contest. Okainkwe Central, under my leadership, has witnessed unprecedented development in their constituency. They know the kind of leader they've sent to parliament. They've seen what I've brought to them over the last 10 years, and I know and I believe that they will re-elect me to represent them come December 2024. I'm happy City TV is in our constituency. And I'm happy they've come to realize what we've done there. And I know you'll be the major advocates and campaigners for me because you wouldn't want to go and select somebody to come and...
The party at the regional level will now prepare for that January 27 polls. My name is Charles Osukumi. I've been reporting for City News.